1990, an insignificant Tory cabinet minister found himself given mysterious powers in the hands of the Prime Minister. This man was John Ninety. He watched him into his own telephone answering machine for over half an hour. Hello, John. This is John. I fear I may be out of the house for some time. Please take a message. I can't believe you voted for him. No, I only did because you told me to, for heaven's sake. <laughs> See him wear a funny hat and an anorak to the summit conference of world leaders. Gentlemen, these are indeed severe economic times, and we must, I fear, be prepared without any doubt to take some severe economic decisions. What on earth did I talk about? For heaven's sake, I'm going to lose my seat at this rate. See him stand absolutely still and do nothing at all. For heaven's sake, Central Office must have another candidate somewhere. Right for Anthony Meyer. Joining us now in the radio plane is the Prime Minister. Mr. Major, can you hear us? Yes, Mr. Redhead, I read you. Yes, go ahead with your question. I wondered if you're happy with the policy the party's taking. Yes, indeed, we are most happy on the course upon which we are embarked. It is indeed a good course, both indeed for ourselves and for the country. And I have no doubt we shall continue it. Mr. Major, Mr. Major, there are those who say the um, party's in trouble. Uh, you are. Yes, gentlemen, I fear we may have to move another plane. I have, if I may say, had the most remarkable escape. <laughs>